Out to the voice of hate inside Pulse, the conversations between the gunman, Omar Mateen, and police. It's the first time we're hearing this voice. Vanessa Ariza, listen to every second of it. She's live at Pulse for us tonight. Vanessa, what did you hear? Well, Matt, there were four pieces of audio that were released to the media today. In parts of that, you can hear Mateen speaking, and it's as though he is void of all of the chaos that is going on around him. In other parts of the audio, there's a lull of silence as negotiators try to reach him. I want to let you know I'm in Orlando, and I did the shooting. What's your name? My name is I Pledge of Allegiance. To Abu Bakr al Baghdadi of the Islamic State. In this 911 call, Omar Mateen begins to speak in a different language before admitting to the shootings to dispatch. The conversation lasts less than a minute, but there would be several attempts to reach him. Hi there, this is Orlando Police. Who am I speaking with, please? You're speaking with the person who pledged his allegiance to the Islamic State, Abu Bakr al Baghdadi. In some of the first seconds of phone interaction between Omar Mateen and an Orlando police negotiator, Mateen gets to the point, one that he makes a number of times throughout the calls. We need to stop the U.S. airstrike. You have to tell the U.S. government to stop bombing. They're killing too many children. They're killing too many women. The first five minutes, Mateen continues to keep a conversation with the negotiator, talking about bombs, Ramadan, if he's wearing a bulletproof or bomb-type vest. But soon, he goes silent. I'm still here. I'm trying to help you. Okay? I need some help from you. We need to get this resolved peacefully. And we need your help to do that. I know you want to get this resolved peacefully. Is this still connected? More than half a dozen times, police called Mateen only to get his voicemail. At one time, he said he was getting annoyed with the calls. Well, I understand that, but obviously, you know, it's my job. I need to be in contact with you. I'm your communication lifeline to everyone that's outside. Mateen says the final breaking point that led to the shooting here at Pulse was the killing of ISIS leader Abu Wahid in an airstrike in Iraq. Now, there are still 22 hours of 911 calls that have not been released. Judge Schreiber will listen to those and determine whether or not they should be released. Matt? Hard to listen to and odd how calm he was during the whole process. Vanessa, thank you.